good evening to everyone uh, watching. I'm Paulus, uh, Startup Green Vilnius Chapter Director. And um, today I'm delighted to introduce Nafisa Salamani Ashtani uh, on Startup Green Vilnius. She's educated in biotechnology engineering and international business, experienced in pharmaceutical manufacturing company uh, selling through Asia, and says work. managing business in Lithuania, helping veterinarian doctors to connect with the pet owners online. That was quite a spin, right? Yeah. Uh, say, from pharmaceutical business to P2P service, connecting veterinarians and pet owners. Yes. Yeah, how, how those how those things you know happen actually you know from pharmaceutical yeah, to exactly. pets. actually i um it's like i uh, I, I was working in the pharmaceutical sector for seven years uh for like and this humans and all the time talking to the doctors and uh, finally after seven years i thought maybe it's good to, to do the challenge do something you know the difference uh, for for myself and change the routine because usually when you do the routine it's like uh, you get bored of it maybe and uh, i thought okay i do i completely change my routine i will uh, use my knowledge before medicine and i'm coming with the technology combining uh, I sat with my partner and then we started drawing on the papers and uh, start brainstorming that uh, what we have to do. We came with it. Okay, so that, 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 was, that, was, that was no idea, right? No. You just were sitting down exactly. and uh, deciding From what to do. Exactly. From scratch. Okay. Like, okay. We were thinking that okay. Okay, now it's a time to do uh, something exciting. What we have to do. We brought the paper. We brought it in and we start uh, okay. drawing the things that, okay, if we want to develop something, how it works. So we came to the idea of doctor for call in the beginning. And uh, okay, we said, okay, we were working mm -hmm. in the medicine doctors and combine them, okay, virtual. We make some platform, they can connect to each other. And one, uh, and I tell you, we got rejected. And three times you get rejected, and because of the law, because of the government, and it's too difficult, you know. And then, you know, just imagine we prepared everything, uh, business plan, idea, everything, and so suddenly we got boom, reject. And it was a shock for us. And I was thinking and brainstorming what we have to do. I was in the sort of camp. And suddenly one of my colleagues had a dog and uh, she got hurt and bleeding from the back. And you mean like uh, camp yeah, it was in the jungle or? and out of the city. Because uh, in that camp, usually startups are doing the brainstorming and they are focusing and thinking okay. and you know helping each other. And uh, when he got hurt, I thought, oh, why not with football? I went to her, I ran to her, I said, uh, do you like to use our platform for your pets? She said, yes, of course, it's bleeding and I need the help in the jungle. I said, oh, yes, you're coming with vet for call. And we start changing everything to the human to vet for call. And uh, if we, if we bring the idea for the women in tech with the team, uh sina uh, ehsan is our it and uh me and uh, also uh, at the moment we have one veterinarian dr martinez in the team and uh, so we came with a vet for call and we developed it well and we put it in the market and uh, we got a positive okay. uh response from the people okay so but that was a short uh, story right i mean how, how long this process took you i mean starting with the uh, um, doctor online yes, was a part exactly. of this process right and then it transformed into a veterinarian exactly. online it, it took right? one and half, this procedure okay, so. which i'm talking about is one and a half years and it's a daily oh it was pretty short it is like uh, 24 7. when you go for a startup it means 24 7 you have to think you have to brainstorm you have to develop and you have to communicate you know the most important thing you go to the market and find the right people we came to lithuania and we were absolutely new a new language new culture right. new people new things you know everything uh, everything was new that time 
You're you're from yes. Iran. You're from Iran, and coming to Lithuania, and you were coming to yes. Lithuania two years yes. ago, right? No, uh, 2018. Okay. August. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's, yeah. it's a bit more than two years ago. You know, a lot a lot of people. There's there, there must have been a lot of challenges for you, but uh, I would like to stop at one moment. You know, you said you were sitting down mm -hmm. and sketching the idea, right? Um, pretty uh, foreign environment in a different yeah. country. Usually, what you hear, especially from the youngsters, you know, right? I don't have enough ideas. I don't know what to do. And the question would be, you know, how, 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 how did you come to that idea, particularly? You know, did you have an inspiration? Did you have, do you have doctors in your family, or? You know, uh, first of all, uh, we have a doctors in the family. I mean, like my uncle mm -hmm. is a doctor and head of the hospital, one of the hospitals. Okay. In Yes, okay. uh, we had a doctor, and all the time uh, I was in the means like field of healthcare. And our okay. mission, the, the the main goal, and our motivation to make to make access, you know, because at that time when uh, be, means like before the idea comes and I scratch it from the start, I I was and it was a winter and it was lots of snow outside. And I was thinking that, uh, okay, I opened the, I, mean, like, I was behind the window and I thought, okay, if something happened to me, how can okay. I walk? I mean, like, it was minus 18 that time, uh, 2000, <laughs> 2018 December. I thought, okay, it's too cold. And if something happened to me, how can I go outside? It's a so actually, for me. Okay, so actually the cold was the inspiration, right? The cold yeah, was the exactly, motivation. Exactly, exactly. I thought, okay, if, wow. if uh, I mean, like, I had, a, I had the doctor on the phone. So, I mean, like, it was good to talk to, to if something happened. It's good to talk on the phone. Why not? And then I thought, okay, let's, I do something for the society and help them. Okay. I work in the society and I can do something for the society. Why not? Okay. Yeah, and make it, make it healthcare access. It was, I'm telling you, it was a tough journey. Really, yeah. it's a, it's a sort of really tough. And you know, it's sometimes it goes too slow. And that time, believe me, I didn't do, means like, uh, the environment absolutely new. And uh, I had only money, I means like money from the saving, and I, I didn't have a job. Uh, I didn't have any connection. And I uh, mean, like, you know, I was too, uh, I, I didn't think out of, I mean, like coming out of so much of hard working communication uh, between international people, I means like international doctor, pharmacy, and suddenly come to nothing. I means like it was like in the room, like, Oh, it was the right decision, or oh, I didn't think. What did I do to, to my life? I mean, like suddenly from so many, you know, I mean, like I was a manager of there more than hundred people, and suddenly out of that position, I came out and then I was empty. I mean, like that time the feeling was empty, and I said, okay, I have to do something. I came out of the busy life to do something different. Okay, um, so how so how do you pick yourself up in these kind of moments? I mean, you know, you're in the foreign environment, um, no connections, uh, you don't even know the healthcare system in Lithuania, and you're coming up with an idea, you know, I want to have a business, I want to have a startup, and this is going to be doctor online. How do you pick yourself up, you know, and start doing something? What did you do? You know, actually, I'm very energetic, and all the time I think positive. Even though even it's very empty environment mm -hmm. and if nothing is there, I think positive because I believe in life flow. And I thought, okay, if I start a step, the way will open. When I started, I came to know about the acceleration program. I came about the, you know, I came, mm -hmm. uh, I searched online because all the time I was doing a research and I came to know about the start of Lithuania. I, I attended the 2019. I attended the start of Lithuania. I asked so many questions in uh, means like I, without anything, I was going to investors. Okay, do you like this idea? If this is happening, do you like it? Do you invest? Or I talked to the startup. That means like, did you fail or what happened? Why did you fail? I start, uh, you know, three months. Means like the, every day I collect the data. Why they fail? What's the problem? What's the environment? What's the mm -hmm. culture? You know? And 
challenging. You know, sometimes it's okay. crazy. Like, oh, seriously, this is a tough journey. And when we started, and it was in the in the beginning, believe me, it's too slow. Even though sometimes you are not seeing anything changes, okay. you think that shall I leave it or shall I continue? You know, and that time is more most important time that you say no. You have to go for it. And you know, you have to set the goal. Means like, for example, I have to reach this this goal. And for yeah. that goal, you have to have a strong. Yeah. So but that's that's coming a bit from your previous experience, isn't it? I mean, I mean, when I'm listening to you and uh it seems like you're, you know, it's definitely a very motivated person, you know, self-driven, energetic, very much. But at the same time, um, there is some structure in you too, right? And um, this is something probably coming from the previous experience in pharma, I mean. Uh, mm -hmm. What else What else you could say is relating to that? You know, because a lot of startups, you know, we have a part of the startups and you guys, you know, kind of young people which are starting from scratch and have little experience, you know, and if you would say, you know, if you would have to recommend to them something, you know, what are the skills that are needed, you know, to pick it up from uh, the very beginning, you know, and stay motivated? stay mm -hmm. driven stay you know in the game running because this yeah. is this is this is this is a marathon right this is not a sprint. Yeah, exa no exactly you have to run you know if you don't run you will lose the game and yeah. uh, and the most important thing that uh, you have to be flexible and uh, even sometimes you're you're hearing a very very tough things means like uh means, means like what so many times i heard that the means like, oh, come on, it's it's not a good idea, leave it, forget it, or the, are you sure you can do it? Or some, I mean, like, you know, I, I was working, I was in the middle of so many startups, uh, one of them had a pet, and she came to me and said, it's nonsense. I, I, it's like, I, I was like, oh my God, why? Why it's nonsense? And she said that I need a doctor to touch my, my dog. I don't believe the virtual, very strongly. I said, Okay, I think about it. Maybe I can do something for you. And you know, whatever opinion, okay. and I, I'm, you know, myself to to open minded means like to accept even negative and positive thing. Means like I'm not. If you give mm -hmm. me any even very 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 harsh and hard words, I write it and I think about it. Maybe there is a point inside. Because I can understand your idea okay. is look like your child, but believe me, it's not your child. Mm -hmm. You have to be flexible. You have to listen to expert. You have to listen to others. Maybe one customer give the idea and that idea will give you something. And with that customer idea, I add one feature and I made my business plan hybrid. Online plus sending okay. the doctor in front of people house. You know, you can think okay. about people. You have to accept, be flexible. And I can suggest before starting anything, do research, market research, talk to other startups, listen carefully. Why they, means like, uh, got, means like so many failure. But you know, I, I was wondering why out of 10, nine are failing. I was listening to them. I. Uh, means like that's why uh, when I wanted to make vet, uh, vet for call, I, I means like I opened all my sense to the environment to to. Okay. As much as possible, I'm not telling that uh, means that like you're hundred percent correct. No, means like you can design in such a way that uh, means like uh, it works. You know, of course you have to pivot sometimes. You know, you go to the market, you see people uh, responding differently. Like we made Dr. Foucault and we, we came to know that, oh my God, law is not there for that in 2019. And you have to pivot. You have to pivot the idea and you have to do the changes as for the market. So it's okay. part of don't resist, you know. Luckily, our teams are really flexible. You know, we are accepting each and mm -hmm. every feedback.
Okay, okay. But the question actually, what I wanted to give you know, was actually what kind of the skills those youngsters have to develop, you know, prior to starting that, if there are any, because I hear, you know, you have to listen to the market, mm -hmm. but that's, I think this is not only in the startup, right? This is, what I mean, even if your business is like 15 or 20 years old, you still have to listen to the customers. Exactly, exactly. And uh, their skills before, I think a little bit, they have to uh, have experience, you know, a little bit have okay. experience to work in the organization and cooperation to see the business. Okay. If you go through the technology, at least uh, your previous experience of management and technology, it helps a lot. Mm. So, so you see the value in that, right? When you started the business here in Lithuania, Absolutely. you see the value in those years that you have been working in the pharma. Absolutely, it helps a lot because you know how to uh, you know okay. how to communicate, you know where to go, and if you have an experience and related background, means like you related you related background with what you do because it's a healthcare and I was in the healthcare. You can you can when you go to the customer tar, uh, means like segmentation, you know who is your customer. And and you will point that that exactly. You will not. Sometimes the it's like a startups are confusing. Whom should I target? Which age should I target? And where should I go? You know, they get confused. And mm -hmm. sometimes they are giving solution which really is not a solution. If you go if before you work mm -hmm. in the business or you see you observe the business and re, at least read about it, and you 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 can understand. Okay, it means like for example, you have to go to the doctor. You know, I didn't waste my time to, in the beginning, attract the pet owners. Directly, I knew that my customers are my doctors. And for example, the Canadian Association. Okay. And if I want to go to the market, you know, as per my international experience before, I knew that I need the local people here. I cannot run alone. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was searching for an acceleration mm -hmm. program to connect with local people because of, of course, any market, if you want to enter to any market, any place you need their local people, mm -hmm. you cannot run a lot. So in, in your business is actually, you know, you needed both. You needed uh, doctors mm -hmm. online as a supplier, right? And then only you can, uh, you know, address this towards mm -hmm. the customer. So, and being a fresh, a new person in the, in the environment itself, in the mm -hmm. Lithuania, right? So you started with um, uh, pet organizations, or you started with I started veterinarian with the veterinarian because you know what what we did that exactly we went to the veterinarian and we knew we knew that because we are new in the market and we don't uh, people doesn't have any trust a startup who, who will trust and uh, we, we 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 connect to the veterinarian if the doctor will tell to the customer okay this is a good protocol you use it and i'm there people can trust but as a company if i tell to the people okay come and join me and use they said, okay, is it safe? It's not safe. This wasn't you know? easy. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't it was easy. not at all easy because you you needed a trust in the market. If, if you want to be, yeah. you know, yeah. the thing is we, we believe that these is people never buy the product. They will buy the emotions and trust. Because, you know, it's, okay. you know, making the product and put it in the market, you know, every IT and whoever has the money can do it. It's easy. But really, I um, mean, like all the business works, no. The business which have a trust and emotions because everything is not your product. Everything is not your solution. It's about the people. Yeah, but I know this is not, this was not the hardest challenge probably, right? Uh, as much as I know about your, about your business, you know, but uh, probably the harder ones were in the very, very beginning when you started with the doctor. Protocol. Exactly. Uh, when you when you are approaching politicians, when you're approaching oh, ministry, my even, God, right? yeah. <laughs> and you got rejected yeah. at the highest yeah, level. Yeah, they, they rejected. They said that, uh, oh my God, it's we don't have legislation. And how do you want to work? If something happened to the patient, who is responsible? And so many questions. And you know, I did, uh, they talked to me in uh, Lithuanian. And uh, I I don't know Lithuanian, <laughs> and my friend was uh, next to me. I was asking, "How do you talk here?" I'm like, "Can you please chat so that I can answer back or I do something?" And she said, "No, we don't have mm -hmm. a law here, unfortunately. You have to close everything. You know I, what what I did? I made a MVP. I made each and everything ready, and then suddenly 
rejected. And it was a shock for us. It was absolutely a shock. It was like, what, what can we do now? What now? And now, you know, that time I was like okay. sitting like this. I said, what should I do? Should I leave completely the idea or I have to think more? You know, that time it's like an end for you. It's like a, a streak wall in front of you and you see it's over. I don't have a path. But how, how come you are concentrating on Lithuania? I mean, if you, have, if you have been rejected here, maybe you are thinking of another market. I mean, you have already a system. You have an My question would be to, you know, pivot it a bit uh, country-wise, market-wise. Maybe it's not forbidden or the legislation is ready somewhere else. Uh, you know, the thing is like the business which we, uh, we picked in the beginning, uh, Dr. Foucault was really tough because uh, uh, the, the law, okay. healthcare law for human in every country is difficult. And in inter as a mm -hmm. healthcare, you need so many documentation, which is really expensive for a startups. And it's really help. Means like you. Means like that time we came to know because that time we, we we were thinking so much, but we didn't know that that for example we need so many papers we need, we need from the government, and we came to know that so many papers, so many laws, and oh my God, it's impossible. And why in mm -hmm. Lithuania? Because uh, when uh, we started communicating, communicating to go to the community of startups. We came to know that a start a startups who is starting with that, uh, I mean, like uh, Lithuania, you know, in, in here because the market is small, you can test okay. it, you can communicate it, and you can make your pro product perfect here, and then you can expand to other countries. Actually, it's a okay. because here are really friendly. The startup community here is really friendly and help, helpful. They help a lot, like. Uh, means like in the beginning when we came with Dr. Foucault and we joined Baltic Sandbox uh, mm -hmm. as an acceleration program and they, you know, they help a lot regarding everything. No, means like this is wrong, this is right. And suddenly in the, in the starting of uh, means like that program, I pivoted to Red Foucault. And, you know, and then we started to polish it, polish it, polish it. And now I still we need I, I, you know, ne never your business get perfect. Actually, you need all the time. No, there's no to such thing. In, in, yeah, in, in the world, this state like perfect doesn't exist. You know, exactly. we're always striving for the perfection. Exactly. And it's related to every field you're kind of you know touching. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, 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 yeah. And um, here, especially, you know, when you have been so many times rejected, pivoted to uh, bed for call, mm -hmm. you said everything was ready. Um, how did you raise money for it? I mean, you were going through and Sandbox probably was a help for that, right? A bit. Not at all. Everything okay. from our pockets. Everything wow. from our savings. And whatever we did, it was from our savings before. Wow. And, and one, you know, it was it was like that. It means like one month, we, it means like uh, we thought, okay, if this savings go, it means like goes, goes to zero one day, because it was like, it's, you know, we are paying for it, development. We do it. We try this. Yeah. You know, it was really tough. It, it, I'm telling you, it was. It's really tough because one, day, if you don't manage your budget carefully, you will uh, you will become out of the funds one day, even from your pocket yeah. or from the investors. Until today, we are standing by our own. And and we you are know, we are limit. I'm, I'm telling you, if you want to do the marketing, we are a one each one euro we are calculating to do, to be. You know. But have, but have you been but have you been thinking of raising money? Are you planning on seeding? Of course, your or... of course, okay. we are we are because uh, we are uh, we are trying to uh, as much as possible by helping uh, so, the society and helping people to attract more users and be I mean, okay. like. Uh, after reaching to some amount of user and traction, of course we are, we are raising. We, we would love to raise because we want to uh, go forward faster. Now we are okay. going, but in the, uh, a little bit of slow track by our own like an organic way. And luckily, I mean, like we have a veterinarian doctor from Lithuania who is local and he's helping a lot. 
So that's why it means like uh, really in our path, uh, means that we were so lucky to have a local mm -hmm. people, local community, and joining the local people in our team. But that's a lot of risks involved, you know. I mean, it's it's so totally your money, you know. There are some benefits, of course, coming in, you know, because when you are getting, you know, rich and happy with this company, it's, it's all totally yours. <laughs> exactly, you know. <laughs> you know sometimes, sometimes uh, my my colleagues calling me, "Oh my God, we are in so much of pressure. Pressure are really high. Believe me. Okay. We are sometimes you are thinking that, oh my God, it's too heavy. Not me anymore." They're calling me, they're telling that we are down. What we have to do? I said, no, we set the goal. We have to reach the goal. Stand up and work. Don't worry about anything. We will yeah. reach the goal. Okay, so how big are you today already? How many people? Uh, yes, how many doctors? Uh, we, we are having seven doctors. Uh, in the beginning, we started uh, two people, me and Sina. And then we, um, Ehsan IT, CTO, our CTO joined us. Dr. Martina joined us. Uh, Mr. Oleg uh, joined us. And another two uh, intern we have. And we are seven at the moment at, in the team. But as a, uh, okay. as a website, we, ha we are having uh, 653 followers and uh, 100 register, uh, 100, 130 registered veter uh, pet owners and seven veterinarians. Okay. And all those veterinarians today are in Lithuania, right? Yes. So you're kind of uh, keeping it local. Yeah, okay. keeping the local, okay. but uh, Dr. Yakov in our platform, uh, he, it, he is using our platform internationally for Russia, Estonia, and Latvia. Okay. Yeah. So you are expanding already. Uh, yeah. Try, a bit, yeah. Yeah. A little mm. bit. Little. Little. We are expanding to Russia, Estonia, and Latvia, and of course, uh, we are uh, we are planning to. It you know, means I can reach to uh, Latvia. Twentieth uh, of Jan, I have a meeting uh, with one person in Latvia, and uh, we want to slowly, slowly it means I like making that for call to the Baltic state and you know Russia and we will we will we will move. We will move to the Europe. Okay. Yeah, our so is looking, look, mm -hmm. looking a bit back, you know, looking at all those this work done, you know, because this was what a bit over a year, right? Yes, yes, correctly. Yeah. It was a very short period actually of time, you know, and thus this much done already. Looking at the, at this short period of time, what would you say, you know, were the some uh, special thresholds, you know, that the points which were really critical to the business that you are doing today mm -hmm. uh, the critical point was um no I means like when um uh, till today actually there are lots of critical points <laughs> <laughs> and really why the, the clock flashed that right the full life is running through our eyes now. you know first of all <laughs> i the, the very critical thing is uh, choosing the it and developing your product okay. because you know uh, okay. uh, if you don't choose the right IT, your product will go to hell. And uh, so, and okay. uh, you know, because of the saving, and one thing which uh, usually a startup music does, they, uh, they because of money and saving, they go to the juniors. Never okay. ever do that because I have a very don't, bad. Don't save money, man. Okay, don't say don't save money on programming, right? You know because because you know at the end of the day uh, you will lose everything. It means like if you go to the juniors and for saving two times more, you will lose at the end of the uh, end of the day. Okay. And okay. and even though of, because of and also when you want to go to the to for example if you are B two B we wanted to talk to the doctors we never send the juniors because you know the, your business especially B two B it's important to keep your partner to trust you if you send the juniors and they don't know how to communicate you will kill your brand mm -hmm. and this is critical if you don't make your image correctly from the beginning you will. All you will lose everyone because one time trust, one time going to market, and one time coming up. Were those hard, hardly learned lessons? I mean, is there experience behind it? Yes. There were some sour meetings? Uh, of course, because you know, if you go, you know, do, especially in healthcare, doctors are really have a different culture. For example, if I come, I go to another person and they come to know that you are junior, maybe they talk soft to you or after some time they postponed okay. it. 
But for doctors, they don't have time. They are telling you go out. <laughs> they are like, don't waste my time and go out. That's why you have to, if you go, and my suggestion is, if you have BGB, carefully whom you, you will send to that person. You like exactly you mm-hmm. analyze your uh, partners, business partners, and everyone analyze it well and understand uh, your market. Before, before any, any movement, you have to understand mm-hmm. whom you are talking to. Even, even if you want to talk to your investors, if, even if anyone. If, because if you don't, uh, means like you don't know how to behave, you lose your image. I'm sure about it, you know. This is coming from my pharm- pharmaceutical background, not not that far. Uh, okay. Paul, your 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 sound uh, broke down. Do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. that's. I'm sure this is about connection issues. Hopefully, this is not going to repeat. Um, yeah. So. Uh, meetings right so you have to be sure to use not to use senior people right i mean senior experience wise both programming as you said you know choosing your tech part and both Mm -hmm. image wise uh taking the meetings right yeah and and don't get for example for marketing and go to the market don't get excited for example oh i for example i uh, do for example marketing in one shot and i get famous see it, this is a procedure everyone has to understand this is not a one night procedure okay it's a five to ten years procedure and they have to have a patience they have to be calm and they have to wait they don't lose hope easily if if 10 percent 20 percent reject you stand stand out because you know it's still we are hearing some negative feedback, but but when you are we are seeing, you are comparing the okay, the number of the positive feedback are more than negative. Then we will stand. Don't easily lose the hope. If for example, ten people said no, I don't need it. When that time uh, it was not a COVID actually. When we started, market was normal and people were means like everything was normal. And we, we used to go to the veterinarian and ask them, okay, do you like to join us? No, it's nonsense and it's useless. Why should I do online? You know, that time they were not understanding the telemedicine. And uh, it means like we were explaining, doctor, this is useful. And, and you know, uh, you ha- if you use it, it's good for you. No, I, I have my own patient and I don't want it. You know, so many people rejected. And when the time come to critics, I said, oh, no, it was good, actually. It was like, okay, we can do it in a safe way. <laughs> And that, oh, yeah. you know it helps yeah. what we stand for for one year we absolutely stand we thought okay we educate people mm-hmm. we will wait for the right time it happens so yeah, actually, happens. you know the, all those electronic businesses mainly you know like we're talking about peer-to-peer business too you know they have benefited from COVID. and i hear that mm-hmm. actually your business was amongst those businesses right exactly. when everybody is closed you have to have you have to have the services anyway. If your pet is exactly. sick, if, if if anything, you know, God forbid, has happened, uh, exactly. you have you have to search. You have to get the help. Yeah, and exactly. uh, this this was actually the part which changed the set the mindset of the doctors, probably right? Exactly. Because the market, but because the market, I suppose, was there already. There are a lot of young people which are, you know. Uh, how to say positive lazy you know they they don't they don't want to go you know they don't want to leave the place they where they're staying you know for i don't know, going anywhere sitting in the in the in the i don't know tram bus or whatsoever you know commute to the doctor they truly try to avoid that so the market probably mm-hmm. was ready the market was there the doctors mm-hmm. were the problem and the doctor was a problem and also people didn't know that he was like because mm-hmm. we are a first player and people like Oh really? We can talk and get the prescription or recommendation electronic. It's like they 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 have. It's like still we have to educate people because when you are a first player, especially you don't have the that big competitors in the market. It, your job is too difficult okay. because you have they have to understand the concept. They have to understand the point. And you know, doctors uh, that time, but it's like sometimes people, it's like doctors have old fashioned things. No, we, we don't need it, we don't want it. 
and still we said that okay because it because telemedicine works well in us uk and you know germany we said why not here so it means like I, we were sure that one day it happened you know I read that's why that's why we we resist we resist and worked really hard okay, you know listening to you i just i just got it you know and th this period one year and a half approximately that you've been working on this startup i hear you know all those mm -hmm. challenges it's like you know challenge 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 then again challenge then suddenly tell somebody tells you you know you cannot do this at all you know and then you have to pick it up yourself and start this all over again yeah. and, and what's what's, what's <laughs> yeah. keeping you up i didn't I, I i see you motivated i see you driven very much. What is what's the secret uh, what, what is keeping me up it's the secret is my thoughts because I'm sure one day I, I, I will be the unicorn. And this is okay. making me up. And I'm sure because I, uh, because it, it is my dream. And it was from my childhood that one day I will be a successful businesswoman. And because okay. I'm, I'm coming from the business background of my family, my father. And I thought one day I have my own and I will, I will make it success. And I knew that it's really tough. And I want to make with Foucault, one day you, I'm sure you will see it in the, after maybe, maybe after 10 years, I'm not telling that soon. Of course, it can, it can be soon. But after, after, after years, in like 10 years or seven or something, we make it because our goal, our mission, the thing which we make up we makes everything up is we want to help people and the society regarding healthcare. I don't mind regarding yeah. money or how much money comes or something like that. I want to our goal and our, our main mission to make the access of healthcare for everyone. If if you stop me, even if after 10 years I get successful and everything collapse, again I will stand I will start something for the benefit of the society. This is my goal. Okay. So that actually, if I hear you correct, you know, the, the Dr. Foucault itself, not vet Foucault, but Dr. Foucault is still on your mind. You're thinking to launch this anyway someday, right? Again, close to the vet Foucault or, or, or you just absolutely. didn't get the right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. We, uh, absolutely we okay. do that. We are, we are waiting to make vet Foucault su successful and uh, make the uh, doctor for call happen for the society for the healthcare you know mm -hmm. uh, the main thing because uh, we, we, i used to work in the uh, very uh, in the environment uh, very far from the city and the hospital and people it's like poor, um, not i cannot say poor i can say very very old uh, and poor regarding the health very old people cannot you cannot move them from their village to the come to the city for dial, you know, for all the time uh, consultation. It's really hard because uh, I, I, I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, my, even my grandmother was in the city, but we were not able all the time to move her from the bed to go to the hospital and, you know, uh, like, um, check everything. You know, if, if something happened, um, is that we wanted to talk to the doctor immediately. Okay, doctor, this is happening, and this is happening to her. And uh, unfortunately, because we didn't have that much access, too much of access to the doctor, we, uh, we lost her. And uh, we loved her a lot. And at that time, when uh, she left us, uh, at that moment, I thought I have to do something for the for everyone to. You know, uh, because all of us have someone means like uh, grandparents, parents who we love so much. And if uh, you don't, okay. you cannot, uh, you know, you want to give them everything, everything regarding you take care of them, health care, especially when it go to their health, you don't want to give a pain to them. And uh, especially that, that that's a goal is vet for call now is for pets and take care of the health care of their pets and animals. And also we love them uh, and uh, we have one actually we have a dog so we love them also but uh, one day uh, we will go for a doctor for, for call to give access of healthcare to everyone 
Oh, this is this is very personal. The things you are telling, actually, and I think that this is actually the source, the you know the will of your of your of your positiveness and your energy. This is very very personal. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for your loss, uh, but thank you very much for doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, when uh, speaking it, of, it's of, okay. of, 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 <laughs> so uh, when speaking of uh, the current situation, uh, you are kind of now you are in a vet for mm -hmm. call. Uh, which, if you would have to name what's in the next year or two for vet for call, what are your nearest plans? You have its oh, stages, right? Plan. This is this is like a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, at the moment, we have a website and a plan to um, this is a consultation at the moment, and we are very soon, uh, within a 25 days, we are coming with a vet for call shop uh, that, uh, you know, uh, slowly, slowly, we want to make uh, the environment in such a way that the, when, when you have a pet, when you go for a consultation, you will have access to buy your food or your music like, accessory or anything that it's, it's Everything will be comfortable, comfortable for you to use it. Means like if you, means like you don't need to, okay. you know, search so much. And especially because uh, we really we take we will all the time we are thinking about the health. We are going to have a raw uh, raw food uh, in our website, raw food, which is really healthy. And okay. uh, because uh, even though for our lovely pets, uh, we have to take care of the food because chemicals are really not good for them. They have lots of side effects. And so that's why we are going to promote the raw food for them to, for the better health, better life, long life for them. And you know, with a healthy life, we enjoy with our pets as much as possible. Okay, and is there gonna be some, um, I don't know, sort of uh, drugstore also online for veterinary, uh, veterinarian prescribed drugs for pets? Or because I know that in your system, I have been mm -hmm. visiting your website too, uh, the doctors are prescribing yes. medication for the pets mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. yes. right? So if there, is a, if there is a need. So when you talk, is this gonna be only food or you are going over to uh, some medication too online? Uh, see, uh, uh, means like uh, for for that, I think uh, for um, maybe maybe in the future we will connect the pharmacy uh, in such a way that uh, because already you can get the prescription in our, in our platform. When uh, you get the pre prescription, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you can means like you will ha you will um, means like um, send your order to the pharmacy. For sure, we'll connect the lab, pharmacy, food, and the doctors. Means like we are planning to make everything uh, available in one in one environment for your comfort. And uh, for okay. for selling the drugs, I, I'm not sure actually because I think for for selling the for example shopping the drug the medicine, uh, we need a uh, a permission. And I think maybe we are thinking about the connecting the uh, pharmacy to send the medicine to, to your okay. house. Means like because already okay. we are having okay. Dr. Martinez, we are planning we are planning to send him in front of the uh, pet owner's house, and he will take it because he's a doctor. He will take the necessary medicine with him to provide to the pet owners. So he is visiting already the pets, right? Yes. This was the pivot you have been talking. This the criticism that you heard from someone have become a part of your business. Yeah, already. exactly. Because we have to take care of each okay. and every opinion. <laughs> so because because okay. he, he, she she had two dogs and she she didn't believe on virtual. And so, okay. so why not? We are sending the doctor in front of her house for the medication or for check. So the customer actually has a choice, right? Of course. You could have a consultation online or you could have a doctor. At your yeah, door. exactly. You can, you can have it both. Of, yeah. It depends on your belief because we are respecting them because we, you have to understand the pain. Maybe they are believing mm -hmm. that um, the, means like, maybe I don't feel good that virtually I show. Okay, fine. You can have a doctor in front of your mm -hmm. house and give you the medicine or doing the teaching because, for, of course, it's teaching and these things cannot happen online. So that's why for these services, which all the time people are asking if something happened, we need this or that physically uh, for the convenience uh, because uh, it's better in the COVID time, the pet owner go to the clinic, possibility of spreading the COVID and, you know, getting the risk of the pet, themselves and the family the doctor in the very in the 
take care of the protocol, come to your house and take care of you. Okay, so in the nearest stages is to have a shop mm -hmm. online together with the services that you're offering yes. today, right? There's a vestment portal, which is either digital or exactly. physical, could be coming to your door. And the next next stage is to have a shop exactly. online for food and yeah, so expanding in uh, mer okay merchandising mm -hmm. a bit. Uh, okay, and um, market wise, are you planning to go wider? Are you planning, I don't know, uh, attract funding? Uh, of course, we are, we are, we love to attract funding. We are trying to do so. That's why we are, I'm trying to expanding okay. in Latvia and Estonia okay. uh, equally. And uh, the 20th of uh, January, I'm going to talk uh, with the Latvian party. And uh, we are uh, because uh, and I found her, and then uh, we can connect. Uh, that for call to her that she 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 will do the you know connection local connection because she's from Latvia, and of course we don't know Latvian language. So we uh, we will uh, we want to we are planning to slowly slowly expand in such a way that uh, you know we will we will organ we can say organic way we can slowly slowly means like expand in the international market. Mm -hmm. So, but this is this is the barrier. Actually, this is the challenge: uh, language. Mm -hmm. Okay. So people don't want to, so don't much. want to do people don't want to do this in English. Uh, in Europe, yeah. no way. <laughs> oh, that's that's know, funny. In the beginning, and and this is this is also is uh, like we got a very 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 uh, negative um, response from one doctor. In the beginning, our our website were, uh, were English, and you could choose the language: Lithuanian, Russian, and English. And uh, she mailed me directly. What do you think about your business? And what do you think about yourself? You are in Lithuanian. How dare you? You you put at the veterinarian website in English. Wow. <laughs> and that time when I was like, oh my god, I'm extremely sorry, and we. You plan to, you know, separate the websites in the in their own language. Actually, actually, honestly, they are right. Okay. Because it's their own language and their own market, and of course, we have to. If you you have your international uh, person, you have to uh, follow the that country's who is like language, culture, everything. Yeah, but so that's what we made the website Lithuanian. Okay, so it's now Lithuanian only. Yeah, of course, okay. because now we are playing in Lithuania and when we are expanding for each market, we are making uh, different domains. Yeah, I'm really surprised, you know, because actually, well, Vilnius is a very international city and um, I couldn't even think of it. <laughs> like it's going to be such a response. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and, and uh, you know, honest, uh, I, I cannot go to the doctors alone. Because usually they speak only in Russian or Lithuanian okay. doctors, and they don't they don't prefer to speak in English. I I take uh, Mr. Oleg with me, and then he comes with me. He's a very expert person, and he has his own uh, business. And he, he all the time he comes with me, and then we communicate and talk to them and convince them, explain them the idea. So for so so self be expanding into different markets, right? It's not going to be a franchise business or something like this. You're going to be opening an office in Latvia, if I hear you correct. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, you actually, uh, when you open uh, open one uh, one office in European Union, uh, you can expand yeah, you, can you, you don't need to. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to means like, open the office anywhere. Uh, but I think in Germany, it's better to um, means like you put the office there. Because as for the law, you know, it's better for, I think the Germany is different, but other countries don't need to, every country to open the office and but, only but you, you have, have to, But you will have to have your personnel there, right? The local mm -hmm. language speaking people, mm -hmm. hired. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You have to have, a, you know, the, the, the main point is, uh, honest, I'm telling you, in every, every country you need the acceleration program. Because okay. we are local people and they will very fast, they help you to communicate and connect to the right people and you, your movement will be very fast. And if really you are, especially for ladies, uh, mm -hmm. they will accept for women in tech because they will get lots of support there. We have a, I mean, it's like a special venture capital and angels for women in tech. Mm -hmm. 
And you mean, and you mean um, this is different? For women, this is different than men. Uh, for women, really in women, I think they help a lot. Okay. They, they, they help a lot, yeah. If you, if you enter a program like a women in tech, you get lots of benefits. I know, I know you had a podcast uh, through Sandbox was doing in tech, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay. So when you, when you talk about the benefits, because this is interesting probably to the listeners too, you know, what are those benefits for women or well, for joining women in tech, for instance? See, for, for women in, in tech community, actually, uh, they, they, they have a, uh, they have a angels and venture, ventures who is, who means that focusing to, to give a power empowerment to the women. Okay. And if, yeah, if you have a good idea and means like they will they will invest um, to you and uh, if you are not for example as a woman if you are not sure that maybe if you go you can go forward or something they push you they motivate you they will uh, they will help you to you know polish your idea your uh, business plan your strategy they helps a lot and they have lots of facility like so many experts regarding the law regarding the it regarding everything they, they will provide you and a three months program it's a it's a about three months program in three months program they really they make you ready to enter the market to go and talk to the different people and experts and investors so this is some some kind of a pre-accelerator right you have an idea yes. you join women in, okay mm -hmm. okay you will polish it and also uh, I'm a part of Meta. Meta also is a, like a pre solution program. They will mm -hmm. choose you and then they will continue with you to um, is that be grow, is that they make you to develop and expand internationally. So if you would have to be uh, telling, you know, to, I don't know, to new startups, uh, what is the learning you took from all this process? Especially you, uh, and I say especially you because you have started here in Lithuania in a totally foreign environment. Um, I would say, you know, it's like hard on steroids, you know. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. like just starting a company. It's starting a company exactly. in, I don't know, in a totally foreign, you know, mm -hmm. alien environment uh, with a different culture. So what would be the main things you would advise? To those okay. guys which are starting the companies now, having the idea or you know thinking of. Mm -hmm. If if you, uh, you have an idea, uh, and means like uh, because I, I was a foreigner and because of the uh, situation, I means like I ran to the MVP. Means like uh, because uh, as a foreigner, if you want to go to, and uh, means like join the community, you have to have a product, and this mm -hmm. is a law for a foreigners. But if you are it's your own country and you have an idea and uh, you have uh, you want to start, don't start the product immediately. Uh, think about it, uh, polish it, and talk to so many people and find uh, means like you have to uh, means like think so much. It's not like in one night you think and you draw something and you say, okay, next day I will go and uh, you know you have to see the, all the positive, negative, and the main thing. That if you have an idea, really find out it's this solution is a people need in the market. It's it's only or it's only your thoughts because sometimes the solution which we are thinking it's it's not really the market demand, and we will go for it and will get fit. And 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 also you can you can go with a very very starting product it means like very simple product. Put it in the market, don't develop it in the very expensive way and don't waste time, don't waste money. Put very simple way, put it to the market and check the response. For sure you will understand they need it or they don't need it. Mm -hmm. And that time you will come to know, okay, they need it, okay, I will add the features and I add these things and slowly, slowly in the future, you know, you have to go, um, it's like your mile and milestone should be very slow don't go forward okay i have to have a complete perfect product i then i will put it to the market no when we put the, in the beginning when one time we kept wait for a call in the market it was really very simple and okay. it didn't have anything you know it had so many problems what we put we kept in the market we went to the doctors and we asked dr yakov okay doctor, this is our product 
And would you please comment and tell tell us what you need? Exactly what do you need? This is this is the thing. And he said, okay, I don't like this. This is horrible. This is hopeless. This is useless. This is. And then he decided, okay, okay. <laughs> then he started writing, okay, he, because he he is the best doctor in Lithuania, so it okay. helps a lot. He had really he is a golden heart person because such a big doctor. Three hours he he gave me free, and he he helped me to you know develop my product, add this option, remove this, and you know switch this one. So uh, then we came to oh this is now a perfect one. Okay, so and when you're talking, we stopped it and again we re renovated and we started. Okay, so actually if I hear it correctly, right? First of all, don't strive for perfection. Try to hit the market as mm -hmm. soon as possible, right? And exactly. then listen to it and adapt accordingly, right? Absolutely. I have another question. You know, when you, when you when you are uh, talking about the doctor and you have you know like. Um, describing him as the best in the market. So this is already uh, some sort of uh, opinion leader, right? Opinion leader market-wise, mm -hmm. despite if it's a small or large market, how do you approach these type of people? How did you find this doctor, for instance? How, how did Con you manage to get those three Con hours you know, free? You know, connections. Okay. Business is all about people and connections. Yeah, this I is strange to hear from a person which came to Lithuania have had no connections and suddenly you know started you know, you know, my I, connections. You know, yeah, exactly. You know why? Because when I entered to the startup um, uh, acceleration program, I start connecting to people, okay. not as a not as a business. Like I have a business connect with me, helping. No, friendly, have a coffee with me, come with mm -hmm. me for a beer. Let's talk. Let's know about the culture. Because all the time, you, you you know, I learned one thing. Don't sell your idea. Don't okay. try to sell your idea. You won't be successful. All the time, don't talk about it. You don't need to talk about your business. If you communicate with people, you know, now I got, you know, that time when I was in the acceleration program, I met one one lady, Victoria. She She's a really, she has big connection in, Lithu in Lithuania, but okay. not as a business. As a friend, like Victoria, let's have a coffee, let's go for a beer, or let's have fun together. And then I came to know that wow, he, she knows the the head of the veterinarian. You know, sometimes you don't estimate people. You you when you go and connect with them, you think okay, maybe this person can't help me, or maybe they don't have a connection. But you cannot estimate. Sometimes they have a best connection for you, and everyone. I'm telling you, don't. If you go all the time, sell your idea. Oh, this is my idea. Can you help me? People get bored of it, mm -hmm. and you have to. You have to understand. This is a, you know, common sense. We are human. If you you make a communication and friendship, that's work. And you know, now I have lots of co connection now. So there's so, another. There's another yeah. takeaway right from this. You have to learn yeah. to love coffee and beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know, I, I, and when I went to the a sort of fair, I was asking. At first, I was asking, "Okay, how are you?" It was like, uh, I did, they, they asked me, "What is your idea?" I was talking about an idea, and then I was talking about something else, mm -hmm. because all the time topic of business, this idea, that idea, they will get bored because they they are hearing thousands of them a day. Right. Right. It's, yeah, connection. It's all about connection and friendly. Be friendly. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, as I mentioned, people never buy your product. They are, they, if you, if they really come to know it's really useful and benefit and it's uh, really good for the society and them, by heart, they will take your product, not by, you know, it's only some product. Of course. It's, it's about the feelings. Yeah. So this is this is this is how the marketing is done correctly, right? This is all about the feelings. Yeah, all about feelings. <laughs> and before, also in 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 seven years, uh, when I was twenty five, I was a manager of uh, sixty people. That yeah. time. <laughs> I was too young, but I could manage them with the same same way. I was like very friendly with them, but in the work. I mean, like I was a strict enough, and they, sometimes they were so much older than me. I mean, like my team was age of forty or something, and I was twenty-five. But I was a manager. Why? Because I was 
Means like I uh, means like I was very friendly. I used to motivate them, not breaking them. But it's all about the co connection, communication. Right. And the, the, we had a great team. Means like great, you know, environment, very friendly, lovely. And I I believe in the matrix management. You know, not hierarchy, high okay. level order to down or something. All at one level. And it's really successful. Uh, oh, people are, people are appreciating the respect. People are appreciating the respect, of course, and the love. Of course, of course. If you and one more thing, love whatever you do, it works. It means like I love healthcare. Really, I am crazy about healthcare. Whatever related to helping <laughs> anything regarding healthcare, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, you're infectious, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, extremely interesting to speak to you and have this feeling from you. You know, this motivation, this drive about Thank what you. you do. It's um, yeah, it's infectious. Okay. So, but uh, we're running out of time. Yeah. And um, yeah, so. Um, Thank you very much. I will gonna so press on a stop button. Stop button. Stop because we are online. We're recording, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna soon stop recording. I thank you very much. Thank you so much for, for your time and thanks for everyone yeah. for arranging the nice meeting. And uh, yes, and uh, thank mm -hmm. you very much for joining. Actually, it's it's all about you, and uh, this was great. And, and uh, I'm ways. looking forward. I'm looking forward. You know. I'd, I would like to repeat this sometime later because I'm sure you know this is going to be pivoting a lot uh, through the time because this time is really really interesting. I mean the pandemics here, the closure, yeah. what we mm -hmm. have, and uh, it, it definitely changes people's mm -hmm. minds. And I'm sure your business is going to be prospering. Thank you so much. And at the end, if you have a dizzy pet, need vet, don't forget vet for con. <laughs> I have a pet, and I'm not forgetting that Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mephisa. It was a pleasure. And uh, yeah, we keep yeah, in touch. Yeah, sure. Have a good time. Bye-bye to everyone. Bye -bye. Yes. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.